Oh, not good. Not good at all. Welcome back, everybody, to Conan Exiles. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue right where we left off. It's only been uh, actually a couple of moments since I ended the last episode. Uh, so OG is here just standing, waiting uh, to do the next thing that he needs to do, which is going to be finding a place to set up his initial uh, base of operations. Um, so, yeah, uh, one thing I want to uh, let you guys know uh, before we uh, get started in earnest here is that uh, I am recording this episode back-to-back uh, -back with the first one, and probably the first few episodes I'll record back-to-back -back just because, you know, my schedule can sometimes be a little bit iffy, and I want to make sure that, uh, you know, we get the first few videos out uh, to you uh, as we start this new series. So that what that means, of course, is that I'm not going to um, see all of your comments right away, but I will definitely see them uh, when you leave them and respond to them uh, uh, accordingly, okay? Uh, so, yeah, we're that's pretty much the plan for today's episode. OG is going to go and figure out where he wants to set up his initial base of operations. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and uh, get something uh, to drink here, which is, where is that at? Something to drink is miscellaneous. No. Uh, celebrate. There we go. Um, he's going to just make sure he's well hydrated here, and then he's going to set off. And, oh, my goodness, Oldiferous, that was a little bit rude. <laughs> and, uh... Have some fun. All right, so let's do this. So OG uh, is going to look for a place to live, and uh, so he's 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 kind of thought about that uh, for a little bit here, and he's decided that it might not be a bad idea to kind of go over and just take a look over here and see uh, if there is uh, an ideal location to set up his first uh, camp here to help you know try and get established and and gain a foot. Hold. Okay, I think that shale back is going to be okay uh, with him coming over here. So he's taking a dip in the nice cool river, cleaning off a little bit and cooling off a little bit. Um, it feels really good after being out in the dusty desert for such a long time. So we have this little island here uh, that he's looking at, and it could be... Could be a pretty decent place to set up shop. Um, is this? Oh my goodness! Okay, so we've got a we got a hostile red shale back. So it looks like the red ones are not all that friendly. Uh, so let's get around him, get those daggers out, and apply some bleed stacks on this guy, and then just make sure he doesn't hit us. All right, gotta love those daggers, man. Gotta love those daggers, uh, and that that bleed that they put on. Let's harvest this meat here. So OG is not, uh, of course, not familiar at all with the territory, and he knows it's probably not wise uh, to wander uh, too terribly far uh, at the moment because he's not well equipped to, you know, to run into to more dangerous creatures and humans and that sort of thing. So he's kind of thinking that, you know, maybe this this little area right here might not be a bad, bad place um, to, to set up, you know, the first base of operations. And so that is what he is planning on doing. <clears throat> so the first thing he needs to do is make himself a couple of chests so he has a place to store resources in and then uh, get started, you know, with erecting a uh, just a, a rudimentary structure and um, then kind of see what has, has to happen after that. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do um, out of character here now is I'm going to actually harvest all the trees and stone and plant fibers and stuff on this island. We'll pick up those eggs, too, and put them all in a chest, and then I'll, I'll run them back over and grab, you know, the little bit of supplies that we have uh, over on the other shore there, get all that kind of situated. When I'm ready to start, um, you know, building our first base, I will bring you guys back at that point. And we will continue from there. So don't go away. After spending, oh, a few hours uh, working really hard, uh, clearing the wood and the stone, gathering plant fibers, killing a few more of the red shellbacks, which, by the way, uh, seem to be responding in quickly. I wonder if I 
have that setting wrong. I uh, have to look at it later. Uh, OG is resting here. I'm having a little bit of lunch uh, to regain his uh, energy uh, after working so hard. And he is ready to go, except for he does have a few uh, things he needs to think about in terms of uh, what his abilities are. And so we are uh, now level 16, as you can see. And so that means we have a bunch of things we can do. Uh, let's take a look at our unspent points first. I think I'm going to actually uh, get encumbrance up to the first perk here, which base, which means um, we deal 10% extra damage while over encumbered, but swing 10%, uh, but swing using 10% less stamina when not over encumbered. Um, so. We got that, and then we still have 14 points left. Let's just go ahead and get strength up to the first perk, too, if we can. Good. Um, so that gets us thuggery. Every blow you strike with a blunted weapon deals 100% more concussive damage, so that's going to help with taming uh, thralls when the time comes. And we still have four points left. Let's go ahead and put those uh, right on into a vitality. There we go. And then let's take a look at feats now. So uh, we want to go... Let's go to the survival tree. Uh, we're going to want blacksmith and carpenter. We're going to want iron tools, tanner. Um, we're going to want fire. How many points do I have left? 154. Yeah. Okay, let's get fireball, cauldron, and journeyman butcher so we can do iron tools for that. Uh, we're going to want the grinder and all that stuff too, but I think we should probably take a look at uh, armor next we, we're gonna want thrall taker um in fact yeah let's do that now and do apprentice tamer so we can get going on some critters because uh, i'm gonna focus on getting some animals first before we worry too much about thralls i want to be uh in a position i i think we'll probably wait until we can actually do the normal wheel of pain even before we do thralls because that'll let me make iron truncheons and then blunted fittings and that's going to just make knockouts so much easier okay so that's really all i think we need in this tree for now um we're gonna want this stuff too the fish trap is gonna be good but i want to look at armor first before we spend points on that stuff so uh, let's get armorer for sure and then um that's gonna let let us make the the vanilla light medium and heavy armors and the Moroccan stuff too okay and I think that's probably good enough for that. Uh, we are going to want Apprentice Armor Smith at some point. Maybe not right this moment, though. Uh, let's look at weapons. So we're going to want... Uh, we have Skirmisher here. We're going to want Iron uh, Poignards for that. And then uh, Archer. Okay, so we can... Uh, we, oh, we can do a, a Tyrone Bow. That's kind of nice. That does 8 health damage. What is, The Blood Letter does 8 and the... Uh, Aquilonian does eight. Uh, and those only do six. So those are actually kind of weak bows, but they're cool looking, though. Apprentice Weaponsmith, we're, we're going to want that eventually, too, but maybe not right this moment. So I think that um, we got, we're got we up to iron uh, daggers there. Let's take a look at... Uh, do we want Bruiser? We've got Defender. One-handed weapons, Warrior... Uh, iron mace and actually I want the axe. I really like the the one-handed axe in Conan, but the mace is good too. And then we can already make the we can make the blood letter shield which is 14. What's just the normal wooden targe? Well that's 16. Okay, so let's learn that too. We want to get to the iron targe eventually, but we're probably yeah, we're not high enough in level for that. Uh, so we can start with the wooden targe. Okay, so what does that leave us in points? We still have 132 points. Yeah, all that gathering and stuff that we've been doing has given us uh, a nice little supply of points. So I think what we'll do is let's go ahead. Well, no, we don't want that quite yet. Let's go. Oh, building. That's what we want to do. Yeah, let's get some building stuff going. Should have actually done that probably first. But uh, anyway, uh, so we'll get Apprentice Mason there. And then we're going to want... Uh, the Tinkerer's Bench, because we'll need to make the Blunted Finnies as well as the other stuff uh, like that. Furniture Maker, not a super high priority right at the moment, but we will. Well, you know what, though? We need the Artesian Table, or the Artisan Table, rather, to make the Palisade. So let's just learn that now. We're going to need it anyway. Torchbearer, 
Um, we need to learn just torches in general. Um, let's do bed shaper two. We'll do nor those healing wraps. Okay, so what do we need for the grinder? We need iron tools, which we have, but we also need to be level 70. Oh, shit. Our buddy's back already. Yeah, I'm wondering if I... Maybe I messed up a little bit on the... The, the respawn rate. I might have turned it the wrong direction. I don't know. I'll have to look at that. He seems to be spawning in really quick. I don't know. Uh, okay. Anyway, back to this. So we're looking at feats here. So we still have hundred. We still have a ton of points left. <laughs> uh, so let's do torch bearer. Um, let's see here. We'll probably need bruiser as a prereq for something eventually, but not necessary. We're not doing anything with religions yet. We will later. Okay. So let's go back and look at armor. Oh yeah, we need. We just need armor, the armor or bench, which we can already do from here. Okay, so that's already done. All of a sudden, I've got all these points that I need to spend uh, to spend here. Problem though, too, is that our level is it's still kind of low for most of this other stuff. Let's go ahead and earn, uh, or rather, learn the iron mace. Uh, but I think we're going to focus on the axe for starters. Now, this axe does 19 health damage. What is the Tur Turin axe do where are you where's it even at um i've got Turin one-handed weapons i don't even see it here terranian stuff i've got the the terranian mod i got the aqualonian i've got blood and sand i've got jewel of the west and i think that's it i think that's it i don't have every single one of them so, all right, well, I'll tell you what, we're not really seeing anything there that I want, uh, at, at least not right now. So I think we'll just go ahead and sit on the rest of our points for the moment until we can uh, get higher level, because we have plenty of points, we just need to get higher levels. I do want to look at one thing, though. If we go here and we just do ter terrain, okay. Doesn't isn't there a Terranian axe? I'm not seeing an axe. One-handed weapon. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we, yeah, we we know it because we know one-handed weapons. Okay, so that does health damage of 17. I really like the look of that axe. It's pretty badass. Uh, so that does health damage of seven. What does the normal iron do? 19. It's still two points better. Yeah. Okay. Well, see that the the DLC stuff. It, it looks nice, but it's pretty weak sauce really if you think about it i mean i know there's higher tiers of some of that stuff but anyway okay i think that's good for points uh right now um so now what we really need to do is we need to get iron um so that we can uh you know start making some of this higher level stuff that we now have the attribute or the feats for but we still have to to make it uh so let's go ahead and get back into um into uh what the hell is it called get back into character <laughs> i couldn't think of it for a second get back into character so og is ready to set out he's had his lunch and he is now on the lookout for uh, for the iron resource that he's going to need in order to start advancing to the next tier of craftsmanship and tools and weapons and that sort of thing so what he's going to do is he's going to kind of go along here and he should find, he's thinking, he doesn't know this yet, but he's thinking he, he'll probably find some some iron. Re oh, we've got some enemies. we got two enemies here. All right, let's uh, see if we can put some bleed stacks on these guys. Kind of hard to take them both on because they're flanking us. All right. That one will probably drop here in just a moment. We'll just stay out of his... There we go. Okay. One thing we can do uh, is, and should do is we should make ourselves a, a stone cleaver and a stone skinning knife. Uh, at, at least just for now. Uh, we can make iron, but we can't make iron until we actually have processed iron. Let's just grab a couple of... Uh, components to make the stone version of those for now. Of 
Chrome uh, taught OG all kinds of things besides just warfare. I suppose maybe Chrome foresaw that OG would eventually be in a situation where he was going to need those skills. So that's how he, he knows how to do all this stuff. At least that's what we're going to say. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so let's go uh, skinny knife. Going to make a stone skinny knife. And we're also going to make ourselves a cleaver. There we go. Uh, let's get rid of some of this extra mod stuff that we don't really actually want. Um, and we're going to actually skin these hyenas. We're doing pretty good on food, so I'd rather get the hide off of them for now. Okay. And we gained another level. All right, so. Oh, look what's over here. I don't think we can harvest that. We don't want to anyways because it's rotten and it stinks. We have found some iron stone. OG is definitely happy to have found that. And so if there's iron there, then there's bound to be more iron along in this area too. We just have to keep looking for it. We should probably heal up a little bit though. Well, look at that. We have a baby hyena. Problem is, we have nothing that we can do with the baby hyena at present. So we're going to just leave it to its own devices. Okay, let's move this way. And continue looking for more iron, iron deposits just kind of along the side of this bank. Because that kind of seems to be where you can find some of that. Nothing over. Oh, there's some more hyenas. Oh boy. Wait, what? <laughs> OG did his first climb. Okay, I think we're gonna have. Are they gonna? Oh, yep. Yeah. It's gonna say they're probably gonna come from that direction. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, three is a bit much. Three is a bit much. I mean, OG's tough and all, but uh, yeah, we have to, we we have to know our limitations. Okay, one of them went down. That's good. Hopefully, this other one will give up and bugger off. Okay, looks like he's he's doing that. Well, we managed to get one of them. OG thinks to himself, "It won't be like this forever. It won't be long before we'll be able to destroy." These nasty carrion eaters. But that day is not today. So today we have to be careful. Let's eat a piece of meat. Get our health back up a little bit. And continue looking along this bank for iron. OG takes a look down at his weapons and he realizes that they need to be repaired. And fortunately, he has enough stone on him to do that. Get those weapons repaired. Keep them in good condition. It's very important to survival. Oh, there is a cave over there. A cave with some not-so-friendly humans standing in front of it. Whoa. Whoa. Somebody threw a rock over the side of that cliff. He thinks to himself, I will keep this place in mind, but I am not, at present, prepared to go investigate. Because he has a feeling that those humans are probably not going to be friendly. And there's m multiple humans over there, and he's not quite ready to deal with that yet. But he will check it out at some point in the near future. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. I was gonna say. <laughs> Spending time here in the exiled lands and just being who he is and how he was trained, OG realizes he has kind of like a sixth sense. When, when danger is very near, in his head he hears... There's kind of like a rattling noise and seems like he he hears drums playing. And whenever he's he's learned to, to to react to that when it does happen, knowing that it does in fact mean that there's danger nearby. So it helps keep him on his toes. We have a little bit of an encumbrance issue here. We're only three over. We can afford to get rid of that. And that and d d d d d d d let's just toss um let's toss all the stone out and uh, actually let's just toss all the stone out i know we need that as a resource but that's something we can easily get at the base uh, or near the base so right now we want to save our capacity for iron There's that rattling noise again. Two hyenas incoming. These hyenas are a bit of a of a hassle, a bit of a nuisance, but they are bringing us hide, and uh, hide is something that we are definitely going to need. Nice little lake down there with some crocodiles. Let's go look up here and see if we can spot any more iron deposits. OG's oh, just kind of scouting out the area, uh, the immediate vicinity, too, to kind of get the lay of the land here. There's some iron. Hyenas are back. Oh, not good. Not good at all. We might... Might perish here. We can get away from them and... Okay. Woo! That was a close one. <laughs> oh, gee. Just about... Just about succumbed. Uh, but he managed to... To get away from them. Got stuck in them uh, there a little bit. But managed to get away from them. And they bled out before he did. So, at the end of the day, OG wins. Barely. In that case. Time to head back to the island here and drop off our resources. Oh, we got uh, Brutus there again. Let's eat some meat. Take a bandage. All right. If we fight him away from the other one, we don't have to take both of them on at the same time. When OG was gathering earlier, he discovered something. If he has his daggers equipped and he attacks with them, they somehow inexplicably allow him to move quickly even when he's encumbered, especially if he does a backflip. So there you go. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go out of character for a minute, guys. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put all these resources in here. Uh, let's go ahead and cook up this meat for, for now. Uh, we're doing fine, you know, with food and stuff. 
Um, but what what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to we're, we're going to kind of set up a little base here. But we're going to uh, as soon as we can get some iron uh, weapons and tools, we're going to actually run up uh, to the the summoning place up in that area, and there's going to be a whole bunch more iron up there that we can we can grab. But again, like I said, I don't want to go up there until we actually have iron tools. All right, let's take a look and see what we got for feats. We got 25 unspent points. So let's just get vitality up to the first perk. Uh, and that means our breath timer is doubled, which doesn't really help us right at the moment, but it'll help later. And then we have 14 points left. I think what I want to do is put those in. Let's put those into grit so we can bump our stamina up a bit now. All right. Just one point shy of getting the first, uh, the first uh, perk there. Okay, uh, for feats, see, we're level 21 now, so that's going to open up some stuff that we're going to want uh, with feats. Let's go to survival here, and we're going to want the grinder. Uh, we're also going to want the the press, uh, which we get in the cooking tree. So let's just take all of this stuff because we're going to need it. It's kind of prereqs. Oh, we can't do the fluid press till we're level 28. Really, interesting. Uh, the the beehive, the uh, apiarist. Uh, also, we can't get till we're 33. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for those. Uh, we can now do the large chest. We'll grab that. Planters. I'm not really gonna do that at the starter base. We'll worry about that later when we uh, build our main base. Let's take stable master because we will want to get a horse asap. Uh, just so we don't have to run everywhere on foot, because running everywhere on foot sucks. It takes a long time, and it takes a lot of food and water drain. Okay, and then, um, so what else could we look at right now? I think, I think that's really all we probably need right at the moment. Uh, we will need to make uh, saddles, of course, so we'll grab that. Um, can I do the... The weapon, let's see, where is it at? Scroll down here. Apprentice Weaponsmith. Not until level 26. Okay, so that, because this is going to be important uh, to make blunt blunt fittings, which I'm not even going to try and tame um, a thrall until we, we have the iron version of that. Okay, we can do iron arrowheads and we can do the light um, Hyrcanian bow, which is, let's see, that's nine damage. Uh, the Catan bow is only eight. Well, I don't have Catan anyway. So yeah, let's learn that too. And yeah, we'll get that one upgraded once we get a carpentry table going here. Okay, I think I think that's good for now. Um Fashionist outfitter, you know that we don't need that right now. That's more for dressing up your thrall, which you know we might mess with that a little bit later on just for funsies. Uh, but not important right at the moment. Uh, as far as building goes, again, uh, planting stuff is not super important. We're not doing religion right now. So, okay, I think we're in good shape for our, our feats and attributes for the time being. Okay, so um, as far as OG's building knowledge goes, he, he knows, you know, he, he understands basic architecture and building, um, but Nothing real fancy is going to happen in regards to, to building until he gets himself um, a, a a tier four uh, built you know basically builder thrall which is is a carpenter in the game. Um, I mean, I, so, so you know that's kind of something. So, so the idea behind that is, I guess, is what I'm trying to say is you know he's he'll he'll eventually get a thrall that has that that knowledge and then that thrall will basically become. You know the foreman if you will of his buildings and then he'll be able to make um you know real fancy stuff for now it's we're, we're, it's going to stay fairly basic until we get to that point uh at least that's the general plan i i reserve the right to change that depending upon if we get into a situation where i really need to start making uh our main base and we still haven't come across a level you know a, a named uh carpenter thrall at that point okay so that's kind of the, the general plan but but again i reserve the right to change that if it Turns out that way. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and grab stuff to start making uh, some sandstone foundations. And we're going to... What are we going to do here? As soon as we set foundations and stuff down, it's pretty much going to block all of these spawns. Because I did extend that radius out quite a bit. 
Uh, so we might as well harvest these eggs and plants one last time. And then I might, we're probably just going to build right in the center of this island and I'll build everything up high enough to where it covers this, you know, these nests and the grass and that sort of thing. And, we, oh, we're going to want to get a sickle ASAP too. Okay. Let's put um, some of this stuff back in here. I'm going to get rid of that. Well, we'll start hanging on to the seeds because we're going to need it fairly soon. Uh, but actually, we're putting... Uh, we're putting that stuff in this crate. So, general, you know, building stuff we're keeping in this crate. Other stuff we're keeping in here for now. Then we have just a little bit of organization. Okay. So, let's go here and here's what we're going to do we're going to press i and we're going to go to our second toolbar because if you if you saw the introductory video i talked about that mod that gives us extra toolbars and this is the one we're going to put the building stuff on um so let's start with foundation so we're going to put uh, the foundation blueprint there uh, we're going to just use sandstone uh, i might do some stuff to flossum too but most mostly it's going to be sandstone it probably won't do anything with wedges for our first build. It's just going to be real basic anyway. Um, we're going to want walls. So let's grab the the wall, and we're going to want the frame, uh, a.k.a. window. And we're going to want the door. So we'll put the door right there. And let's just start with those, and then we'll... Oh, you're back already? Shit, I don't even have my weapons out. Okay, quick, we got to... Switch this. There, there's a way that I can configure the hotkeys for that, but I don't remember right off the top of my head how to do that. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking I have the spawn rate the wrong direction because these guys are just coming in way too fast, I think. So I'm going to have to redo that. I mean, it's provided nice resources for me, but that, you know, that isn't what I intended. Uh, okay, so uh, we'll put that in there. Uh, we'll put, say, like 100 wood in here, and we're just going to keep, you know, cooking the meat for now. Uh, eventually, we're going to want to start want to hang on some, uh, start, going to start wanting to, good lord, mouth work, <laughs> hang on to some raw meat, you know, when we start taming animals and stuff like that. We're not quite at that point yet, though. Okay, so let's go back to here, take a bandage, and uh, we're going to switch back to this toolbar. Oh, did we lose all of that? We did. What? It's not supposed to do that. <laughs> uh, all right, let me redo this here. Foundation, not wallow, uh, wall frame and door okay so let's start making some foundations make a bunch of those we'll make a few walls we'll make a few frames and we'll make like a couple of doors or I guess we only have resources for one and it is night time too you know we need to make ourselves a torch don't we uh, so what do we need for that? I think we need or just a normal torch plant fiber and wood which we have over here Let's make a couple torches I do have the the day the nighttime set on uh, To go by to you know twice as fast as vanilla so it won't stay dark for a really long time But dark enough to where we're gonna need some light in the meanwhile uh, all right, let's put that in there, and we're going to put this torch down here so we can kind of see what's going on. The tree's back now, too. You have gained a level. Okay. Um. All right, so we're going to take uh, and put our first foundation down here. I'm going to have to probably clear those trees and things out again. Actually, let's look at one thing really quick before we go any further. I'm going to go in, into here. We're going to go to settings and go into admin mode and then i want to go to 
Uh, what was... Was it survival? What was the one that allowed us to set the radius? Uh, or, I mean, the respawn. I think it's combat, right? NPC respawn multiplier. Okay, so this is... I'm assuming this also counts for animals, too. Or does it? Yeah, it does, because it should count for... I think it does. Let, let's go the other direction with this and see if it makes a difference with these shalebacks spawning in. So we're going to set that to 1.5 uh, and see if that makes a difference. Now the radius setting. Well, yeah, let's not mess with that. Let's just keep, let's just go with this and then we'll see if, um, Can I unadmin myself? You are already allowed to cheat. I, I don't know how to unadmin myself once I've admin without, you know, logging out. So I guess, well, we just won't do anything cheaty. Uh, okay, so let's get uh, back to this. So we're going to, we're going to face north. I like to, you know, try as much as possible in these kind of games, build in a cardinal direction. Um, so we're going to use our mini map to face north. And, um, and we're going to raise the foundation up high so it's, uh, is it going to be above the the grass and stuff? Uh, the nests especially, we want to cover up those nests. Where are they? Oh, here's one right here. Yeah, we'll just make it high like this. Now, one, one advantage to making it high, oh, we need to turn north too. Actually, should we turn east instead? I guess it doesn't matter. One advantage to having it high like this is it also then also becomes also also <laughs> also becomes um, its own wall too. So you know when we get a, a purge, the thralls won't be able to jump up onto it if it's this high. Okay, so we're pretty much facing north, and there we go. We've set our first foundation. So again, our first build here is not going to be anything fancy schmancy. Uh, it's just going to be enough to get us started. You know, get our um, our crafting station set up that we need, and you know, kind of just gain a foothold. Uh, it is definitely my intention to do a, a pretty, pretty you know, spectacular build by the end of this series. But that's not, of course, going to be down here on the river. Let's get this stone out of the way. A little more resources for us too. Okay, so it looks like it'll keep items on the toolbar, but it doesn't doesn't keep blueprints on the toolbar, which is really kind of odd, actually. You know what we might do just for funsies? We might leave this this tree here um, because you know what? Now that we've set these foundations down, this stuff isn't gonna isn't going to respawn because uh, it's gonna block them, you know. So maybe we'll actually leave that tree there and it'll just kind of be growing up through the center of our of our build here. All right, let's grab another stack of stone. And we still have a pretty decent amount of, of wood, so we're good to go there. So OG is just... Um, Put together, you know, a basic, basic base here uh, for himself to get started. He does understand, you know, the the fundamentals of, of basic construction, but he knows that he's going to need uh, to find someone here in the exiled lands uh, who has more advanced knowledge of of building if he wants to build something more elaborate, which of course he does. It is his ultimate goal, at least at present, until he finds out more information about things. Uh, it's his ultimate goal to build his own kingdom. And of course, if he's going to do that, he's going to need, he's going to need a palace and he'll need help with that. Okay. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think a seven by seven should be good enough to get us started here. 
um, in our first building. Do I really want that tree there? <laughs> I'm not so sure I do, actually. It's kind of neat to have it there, but we could keep that tree instead. The thing is, is when I log out and back in, though, I think that tree will disappear, too. Uh, which actually means this one probably will, too. Yeah, let's just let's just take it out. Um, Emberlight, which is one of the mods I have, uh, does have... Uh, give you the ability to to create to actually create trees placeable trees um so you know that's something we could look at later on if we decide that's something we would want to do all right so now og needs to make some walls so let's go back to our other toolbar here and yeah see, I don't, i'm not sure that this is actually working quite well because it's it's pulling over tools that I have in on the first toolbar too. Right, here, let's put that stuff back. And uh, I have to pull the damn blueprints back down too. I wonder if it would be easier if we just did the building filter. Um, since I don't have a lot of building stuff in here right at the moment. I don't know. We might not need a whole lot more foundations, but let's get these back down here uh, and in place. Oh, am I out of... Oh, I am. I'm out of stone already. Okay, let's go get some more stone out of here. We're just about damn near out of stone entirely. Okay, so um, we're probably going to just do a four entrance... Uh, set up here, so we're gonna be want to be on the fourth. Two, can we make three of those? Yeah. Okay. So we'll put the first door here, and we'll put a door here. One here, and one here. Okay. Now we will put frames on each side of each door. Make a few more of those. And then the rest uh, will just be normal walls, which will then put like our crafting stations in those spots. So let's see, we need two, four, six, eight, ten more walls. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't have enough resources to make ten more walls. But it's a start. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, we are out of time for this episode. What I'm going to do uh, off camera is I'm going to basically just finish out this build... And I might even go ahead and make my basic crafting stations and get those in place before I start up the next episode. Uh, keep in mind, once again, that I haven't seen any of your comments yet because I'm recording these first few episodes back to back. Um, so, uh, but I will definitely see them, you know, once these videos become published. And excuse me. And I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. I'm having a lot of fun doing it so far. And um, yeah, just having a good time. So I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Uh, and if you are, Please uh, leave a like, hit that uh, like button, uh, leave, <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, uh, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Old guy, you need to wave. Uh, not old guy. Oldiferous, you need to wave goodbye to everybody. Okay, so say goodbye. Uh, no, let's do a salute. Salute. Oh, there you go. All right. Bye, guys.